Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Welcome to the Greater Acquaintance Bible Workshop. It's Sister Missy. This is where we talk about the Bible using object lessons. Today, we're going to have fun talking about two words, being unique and being useful. 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 6. That's where we're going to start today. 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 6 reads like this. I remind you that to far into flame the gift of God, which is in you. I remind you to fan into flame the gift that God that is within you. Look at these different tools we have today. We have a hammer, which is used to pound nails. Then we got a screwdriver that is used to turn your screws into various things. Then we have some pliers. The pliers are used to take a lot of stuff out of some things. How would it be if the hammer took the screws out? Or if the screwdriver pounded nails? Or if the plier turned screws? Is the screwdriver better than the hammer? Is the hammer better than the pliers? No! Each of these are unique and good in their own way. But they have their limits. Did you know that each one of us are one of God's tools? That's right. God has made us with many gifts, skills, and talents. Some of us are good in music. Some others may be good in sports. Others are good in art. And others are good in math. But here's the thing. There are two things we want you to remember when we're talking about being unique and useful. The first thing, don't be jealous of someone who is better at something than you are. And the second thing, don't be proud if you are better than someone else at a particular thing. Ask God to help you with what you are good at. See, everyone comes with different, unique gifts skills, and talents. No one is better than anyone else. God loves us all. This is our lesson for today. We love you. Peace and blessings.